Hi, if you find it difficult to interpret the hack computer table, this is the video for you. Hello YouTube, we've covered five workshops so far, um, starting from the Boolean logic leading up to Boolean arithmetic, and in the midst of that we've got a few videos spanning these two topics. Um, before we come to sequential logic um, and leading up to memory elements, we need to look at the ALU. So in the previous lecture, we covered how we can use half adders, two of them, to construct the full adder. And before even that, we covered how we can use uh, some of the Boolean, elementary Boolean logic gates to construct the half adder. The ALU is the centerpiece of the CPU. Um, it operates on two values coming in using a sequence of input events, uh, which converts the two inputs into an output and these are at a very elementary level. So knowing how the half adder and the full adder works, we can eventually construct um, an ALU with uh, very elementary operations, which allows us to do a few types of calculations leading up to an output. Now, in this diagram, we see that there are two inputs, uh, there are 16 bits, so X coming in, Y coming in, this could be A or B, as uh, um, related to our logic gates, but essentially we have uh, two inputs, X and Y, and we have one output. I've covered before that the ZR and NG, they are for comparison, which allows us to then jump to an allocation in the CPU. But uh, the ALU, the main point of the ALU is to understand the ZX and X operating on the X data. And we see also the ZY and the NY, uh, which are elementary operations operating on the Y value. So these two are coupled with the X, and these two values are coupled with the Y. And the F and the NO, they are uh, input events which allows us to change what we have from the ZX and ZY into an output. So these two operators operate on the X and the Y data, which goes through the four operations first. So this is rather sequential. As you can see, we need to operate first on the X, variable and we then operate on the y piece of data and then this operates on the combination of the x and the y and so also the no input. So this is a quick look at the ta ALU table. We have got the output here and these are the six operations that we, we do on the x and the y. And so these are not actually data, so just just make clear to you that we our data is separate from this table. So this table is just, is to look at the value here. If the value is switched on one, or if the value is switched off, then you don't do the operations. If the value is switched on, you do the operations. But before that, I'd like to give you an overview of what the ALU does. So the arithmetic logic unit called the ALU for the hack computer computes this information. So the ALU, the arithmetic logic unit for the hack computer, computes this information. So it has a fixed set of functions um, which has an out, so it's f, x or y, um, where x and y are the chips two 16-bit inputs, x 16-bit uh, and y of 16 bits. And the out is also a 16-bit output called the out uh, 16. And f is an arithmetic or logical function selected from a fixed repertoire of 18 possible functions. So we instruct the LU which f to compute, which function to compute, by setting six input bits, control bits, the selected binary values. So over here, we have the six control bits, right? And each of them I call it an event or you call it the control bit, right? They operate on the value which comes in. So if we look at the ALU again, right, the six control bits are these values and the input is here. So we look at this in this way, the input comes in, it has to pass through sequentially each of these uh, control bits before the output comes out. Now, reading the table, we have the ZX and the and, and X, which operates on the X value. We have the ZY and NY, which operates on the Y value. So, we'll have to look, a quick look first. 
So if if zx means that if this value is one, so if that gets, then you convert x the all sixteen bits to zero. So in the first table, we see that we have uh, the first row. We have the value of one, which means that this is true. So zx is true. So if one, then we convert all incoming x to to zero. So when the x passes through this particular uh, table, the x 16-bit, all of them, is converted to zero. Now we move forwards, right? So it's sequential, we work from the left to the right. So when all the x 16-bit uh, values are zero, we come to this table. And because this is zero, so this is not true. If not nx, it's zero, it's not true, then we don't do anything to the data. So the data gets passed through this to the F. Now we we'll look at the Y, the Y has the same exact value, we've got a, a one here, so if Z, at, Z Y is one, if this is true, in which case this is, then you convert all the Y 16-bit values to zero. So now we have the uh, y, all 16 bit of them as 0 and we move the y to the ny uh, control bit and the ny control bit is false because this is 0 so we do no uh, operation on the y bit, all 16 of them so after passing through these two, these four control bits our x and our y is 0 because of these two control bit. So we move forwards, our x and y is then uh, decided by the uh, f control bit here. So if f, if true, f is true, if f is 1, then we do this particular operation. If it is false, we do this particular operation. So in this case, this is true, it's 1. So if f is 1, we have the control bit working out this particular operation. Now, this is quite tricky because in the past we used the symbol plus as a symbol for or, and we used the n as an end, so it is quite tricky. But in this particular table, this x and y, this is a summation. So you're summing both x and y, right? And um, because you're summing both, both x and y, uh, the value output will be zero because all zeros for all 16 bits uh, uh, X and Y they're both zero so the output will be zero okay now if this is false then we'd have to end them together okay but in which case we have this particular control bit as true so we are uh, summing them together so now all the now the output of f, the function here for this control bit is zero. We move this data x and y as the f to this table, and what this table does is, if there is no, uh, if n o is true, then you negate it. You convert all the values to an opposite output. But since this is false, because it's zero, we do nothing to the value that we operated on in, on this uh, column. So this gives us the output as zero, right? So this is the interpretation of the individual control bits, right, which works on our input data x and y, coming in, passing through individual columns eventually having an up. In which case, our value coming in is zero. This is the exact uh, output. So each of the six control bits instruct the ALU to carry out a certain elementary operation. We've just seen that. And taken together, the combined effects of these operations causes the ALU to compute a variety of useful functions. Now, since we have um, 2 to the power 6, 64 different functions, because we've got six control bits, okay, so it's a base 2, we have actually 64 different functions which we can design for the ALU, but in the case of the hack computer, 
it only has 18 which are documented in the LL table and this is by design. So the ALU is carefully designed by the authors of the textbook to what POST is supposed to do and we've just seen how the first row of the operation works and you could actually try to design your own ALU uh, based on what we have here. So we're going to have a look at the other example, we're going to use this particular row where it's the output will be not x. Um, so let's go through the sequence of the column one by one. We've got the zx and nx um, column. So if it's zx, if it's true, we operate on that. If it's true also for nx, we operate on the x value. And since these are two both false, we leave the x as uh, unoperated on, you know, we leave the x as not operated on. We look at the y. If the y is one, we make the y as all zero. Okay, and since the y is moved on to n y and n y is one. We negate it, which means that we convert all of them back to 1. Now we move on to the uh, other function, which is the control bit here, the f. And since this is 0, right, if it's not f, we do this particular operation. So for this particular operation, it's um, x and y. And we can take a look, right? Um, so we have the f here, and we have the x and the y coming in. So because this is n, you know, and the input bit, the four bits of the input from x and y, they're all ones. One and one will be one. So we know that the other values will be equal to one. So we're going to move on to the no. Right, and since the NO is true, we convert this value to 1. Uh, so we convert this value, since the NO is true, we convert this particular value to its negated, uh, its uh, negated output, which means that our 1's is now 0. So having operated on this value, our output will be 0, 0, 0, 0 which is actually not x value. And that completes our interpretation of the Hack Computer ALU. So this brings us to the end of the Hack Computer ALU workshop. And I shall see you in the next video, showing you how we can construct the ALU, especially the Hack Computer ALU using diagrams.